Welcome to Dev Delight, development done right, and today we're going to be talking about JavaScript numbers. Unlike many programming languages, JavaScript has only one type of a number. Let's get into it. You can do all the basic operations you want in JavaScript. Start with addition. You can also do subtraction. You can do multiplication. Division. By the way, we're just printing out the result and we're not assigning it back to the number. So we always start with number five. So five divided by five would be one. You can also get a remainder in the number. So if you have number five and we get remainder using the modulus operator, that should be zero because five divided by five is remainder zero. You can also increment the number using this plus number. You can decrement the number using minus minus. By the way, you can do incrementation after the variable name. If you don't know the difference in both of these cases, I made a video about operator pres precedence and associativity. I'll link it, check it out. And then you can also do compound assignment. For example, We wanted to add one to number compound. We could just do the following. So this adds one to 15. Let's comment all of this out before the printout. We can do the same thing with um, subtraction. Multiplication. And division. And there's another thing you can do, which is convert a string to a number using plus. So for example, now what you can do is convert it using plus like this. And then add 15. See what happens. 19. 
because what happened is JavaScript converted this number using the plus in the beginning and edit 15. Now, if we remove this, then JavaScript would just append 15 to the string. See, it becomes 415. Let me just do two console logs so you can see the difference. All right. And the reason it just appends 15 here is because of automatic um, JavaScript conversion. It converts 15 to a string, and I made a video on that as well. I'll link it to you. And this is pretty much most of the things you can do with numbers, basic operations. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe below.